Hey, hi everyone. Anthropic has recently released a new feature called computer use for their cloud model. Using this particular feature, you know, we could do actions on a, your computer just like, uh, you know, um, humans perform those actions. So basically, you can fill any form, you can visit a particular website, you can, you know, search for any information and you could watch some, uh, you know, demo what they have provided. But what I'm going to do in this particular video to try myself. So if we visit their GitHub repo, we could see the best way to run this particular application because it's in beta mode. It could be risky to uh, you know run it on our computer. So we could run it inside the Docker container. The only thing we require, we require an Anthropic API key. So if you don't have, you can go to the Anthropic website, you know, uh, go to their dashboard and you can have your own key. Now, since I already have my key, I just wanna try and see whether how good it is. So I'm trying on a Windows. If you want to try on Windows, the easiest thing is you can have a, you know, something called a Docker desktop that you can install. Now, let me try this thing. So first thing we need to export our key. So I have kept the notes ready here and I have downloaded my key, which I will be deleting after this particular video. And let me set this particular uh, key as an environment variable in my terminal. So I will be using a bin bash, which is very, uh, you know, or uh, what is this bash? I will be using git bash to perform this, uh, you know, uh, command. So let me set this particular thing. Okay. Now the key has been set. What is the next step they have suggested? Next step is, you know, we need to run this command which will access our you know key and it has access to our you know um, the home directory of your computer basically a uh, home computer but when i ran this command as it is you know i got some issues so let me show you let me run this command and i got some issues with this particular especially the way uh, you know the home directory is referenced or something so what i did uh, you know after searching uh, i did one thing first of all you know i make sure that i put my home directory properly which is c users Padeep, so you can check what is yours and if i do this thing again by putting the proper home directory i got another error saying that you know since i am um, inside this particular terminal better i use this bin pty to run this thing and next thing i did is actually add that bin pty in front of it and eventually i get it working so let me run this thing okay now you could see it has started running our uh, you know this thing if you're running it first time you know what it will do it will download this docker image if you're running it a uh, first time so it's actually running let's see uh, maybe we can check our docker desktop I guess this is the new uh, thing that we you know you see i had already this particular you know um, uh, image with me that's why it didn't download it so this is the application which is currently running and we can go to this particular location and i should see that same details in the git bash okay it has saying it has computer demo is ready and it started on a local so let me go to here this particular location so that we can see our computer is open inside this docker desktop good now we could see uh, the left side we have our you know uh, that docker image running uh, with you could see there is a this is nothing but a computer it's a tool that cloud has and you could see it has uh, you know different applications you could see firefox terminal so let's try this thing i want to ask it to visit ai demos website so let me say visit ai demos website and let's see whether it knows uh, how does it find out the you know ai demos website so the first action it has decided to take is to take a screenshot of the system and after taking the screenshot, it has found that okay, there is a Firefox icon, means I got the Firefox, right? And eventually it decided to move mouse there and click that Firefox icon. Next, what it did, I think it, it you know, had those set up clicks. Basically now, Firefox, it has opened. Now let's see what it does. Oh, it is searching some site, which uh, and let's say it is not available. Uh, maybe we need to help or let's see whether it is able to at least search on Google to find out the correct website because we haven't uh, tell it what is our website URL. This is interesting. Okay, can we see anything going on here? Yes, it is. Now wait for a moment. It has opened the Firefox, tried something, computer. Okay, I think it stopped there. Maybe it is trying some other variation. Okay, I think instead of typing directly, it has searched online AI demos. Now let's see what it does. We could see our website is appearing there. Here is its a thought process, you know, how it is thinking and it has visited website correctly that's amazing so it is able to find out the website you could see how much we could automate if we got some system which can you know um, behave same like a humans are behaving when they are searching um, it has find out and eventually it says that there was a website and it has clicked and we are there now it is asking what should we do uh, whether we want to you know explore the categories let me see uh, do we have any category related to video creation or generation maybe and see whether it is able to see those categories and do something for us. Let's see what thoughts are coming. Okay, this is running an agent. 
Yes, the first thing it always does is take a screenshot to understand the current state. Next, what? After taking the screenshot, what it is doing? Oh, it is scrolling instead of, you know, searching for those categories. Why page down? We ask for what? Did we ask correctly? We ask, do we have any? Oh, category spelling was wrong, but still it should be able to figure it out. Let me check whether there is a video category and see what. Uh, it is scrolling down. That's fine. AI tools related to video creation. Would like to learn more about. Maybe let's see. Can you check any categories list there? Let's see whether it is able because we have a categories mentioned there and it should be able to find out that thing. Oh, it went somewhere else now. So it has picked up one of the video creation tool. But what I was asking, I was asking to find a category, you know, which is related to the uh, video. So let's see whether it is able to find out. Okay, it has find out the categories drop down. It has mentioned somewhere here. Okay, see, it has find out the categories drop down. Let's see whether yeah, it has clicked. Now we need to see whether it is able to figure it out the video related category. What it is doing? Okay, I can see main category filters at the bottom of the page also. I think it's getting confused which one to pick or what. Okay, you can now see the categories, let's say video creator. Would you like to explore any of the specifics? Yes, I have already asked video creation category. Okay, <laughs> you might say that, you know, uh, we could have done it ourselves rather than asking so much, but imagine if this is able to uh, you know, get things done, then you don't need to be here. You can write a script or you know you can give it a task and it can figure it out on its own. I think it's uh, you know it's still fluctuating going here and there. Rather than it was clear there there was a category called something related to the you know, video creation. I think it should come back to that particular place. Yeah, even at the bottom, we could see video generators are there. So it should be able to do that job. Let's see whether it is able to find out else. We will, you know, ask it to do something else. I thought it should be able to correct itself. And, you know, it has already seen the categories. So I was expecting it should pick that one of the categories. Okay, now again, it is at the categories and I could say there is a video generator category, but it is still not using that category. It should take the screenshot at this level. Then only it will come to know that there is actually a category. Okay, it has taken the screenshot now. So basically at least this point, it should know there is a video generator category. Yes, it has come to video generator now, we could see. It has come to the video generator category. That's amazing. Uh, let's ask it to do something maybe you know okay it started taking a screenshot here and uh, what we could do maybe i just asked to play some particular let's say you know oh it started taking all the screenshot and maybe it is giving me all the screenshot but i don't want i want to go to specific okay let's go to this video page let's let's go to this one No, it has came to, I think, uh, it takes some time, I guess, maybe, you know, this uh, issue might be this left side part, which seems to be our stream data application, doesn't seem to be responsive. Where is our input that we had given, I think. Okay, it's actually doing I will help you explore Go ahead and say, let me click on the Go ahead and say a card to see more details. But it didn't click yet. It needs to find out the location of that car. I think it has find out 642494 something. And once it find out, it clicked the left, left mouse click. Yes, it came there. Good. Okay. Let's wait here now. I see you've been directed to the install. Let me go back. 
Yes, yes, it has came now to the correct location. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Can we type now? No, we are still not able to type. Means it is still processing this whole thing. Why it is doing this? I think uh, there is some delay in terms of what action it does. Okay, now it's here. Now I want it to, I want to watch this demo on YouTube. So basically I want, it should click on that watch on YouTube button and then open the YouTube, let's see. Oh, it has played here, but I was expecting that I want to watch this on YouTube. Left side part is not refresh yet. Okay, it has click on that now. And uh, we are watching that same go enhance video on YouTube. So it is doing good job. I know there is some back and forth has happened, but I guess it, this is awesome that it is able to figure it out this thing, right? Able to take a screenshot, then, then figure out, you know, where is the exact location on that screen so that it can click on that particular icon or button and, and get things right. So this was good, you know, uh, uh, I definitely impressed by all these capabilities what Claude and Anthropic has. You guys can try and I you know let me know how it uh, you know how was your experience you know uh, dealing with this particular feature. Thank you.